Hello there, and uh, welcome to the Homebrew Review Channel. Uh, this is uh, where I just review um, homebrew kits that I've made. Um, you know, just give you a little bit of background of you know what type of kit they are, how much you know the how much it costs, the average cost per pint, the average cost per bottle, and um, let you know my my thoughts and opinions on them. Really, um, I'm more of a lager drinker than a real ale guy. And obviously, I'm only really going to brew what I would drink. So I'm not really going to brew, you know, 40 pints of something just because one person wants to know what it tastes like. Obviously, if I get lots of requests, I'm quite happy to uh, to choose one. But you know, obviously, appreciate some of you are probably quite real and enthusiasts, etc. So you know, you might want to look elsewhere. If I'm perfectly honest, uh, more about the lagers. You know, I've done a cider. I've got you know one ale that I've done so far. So, uh, you know, just quite interesting if you're interested in home brewing in general, you know, maybe give the lagers a go. They're uh, not, not, you know, quite like uh, Nat's, Nat's Wee that you might think. They are, have a bit more, you know, hoppiness to them and a bit more taste than your, your Fosters off the shelf. So, yeah, yeah, might get some of you into lager, you never know. Um, as you probably may have already guessed from me saying about price per bottle, um, I bottle all my home brew into 500ml PET plastic bottles. Now, I know this might offend some of you. Uh, I know a lot of people are very, you know, enthusiastic about using kegs. And, you know, I've done my research. I completely understand, you know, all the benefits of kegging. You know, conditions quicker. It's easier to do, you know, and all the rest of it. But at the end of the day, it's just not practical for me. Um, you know, if I wanted to, you know, get lots of um, reviews going, I'd have to buy five or six kegs. That's sort of, you know, 30 quid a time. That's pretty pricey. Um, I'm fortunate to be able to get hold of the plastic bottles for nothing at work, sort of going through the recycling bins, so, uh, <laughs> oops, hope they don't know about that. Um, so, you know, that's that, that's really the main reason why I use them, and also in terms of storage space, I haven't got the room to store loads of kegs of beer, um, whereas, you know, bottles, you can split them up and chuck a few in the boot of your car, a few in a box in the garden, some upstairs, you know. Also, again, yeah, give a few pints to your friends, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's the main reason I do it. Uh, when I'm hoping to move house at some point this year, so uh, and get together, you know, get us like a garage or something, so I have my own beer cave. Um, once I get that, then you know, hopefully there'll be more scope for me to keg, and I'll let you know how that gets on. But until then, you know, so you die hot, you know, die hard keggers. I'm afraid you will be slightly upset by this, but you just have to get over it. I'm afraid. Um, other than that, really, I think that's about it. That's really. All I wanted to say, um, you know, any suggestions, any ideas, I'm really new to this, let me know. Um, also, I want to give a big shout out to my friend, The Cider Drinker. Um, don't know if any of you already check out his channel. His channel is Dormin87. Hopefully, I can work out how to get that come across the bottom there. So, um, check him out. He's very, very knowledgeable. He's a good friend of mine, you know, um, and... He's really been my inspiration to set up this channel, to be perfectly honest. He's very, very knowledgeable outsiders. Um, you know, he, he's, he's very enthusiastic, he's very knowledgeable, and he's completely inspired me to do this channel. So, some of you watching might think I've ripped him off. No, I've not ripped him off at all. Um, see it as homage to him, if anything, and as you can see, I'm fully crediting him here, so I'm not pretending to uh, plagiarise, you know, and, and pass anything off that he does. As my own, and you know, I'm gonna try and put my own twist on this as well. Yeah, I'm not just gonna rip him off completely. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, like I said, any comments, any suggestions, please, you know, leave a comment here or on, on the actual review concerned. Uh, probably gonna set up maybe a Twitter account at some point, but don't see the point yet. I need to, you know, get more than like two subscribers first before I start doing anything like that. Um, yeah, so there we go. I think that's about it, really. Uh, in terms of, you know, the homebrew. Uh, process. Don't claim to be an expert. I've only been home brewing since September last year. That's 2011 for those of you, whatever you're watching now. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not an expert. You know, this is purely my own personal opinion on these things. As I said, I'm more of a lager drinker. So if I do the odd ale, I may not be quite as best placed. At the end of the day, this is me drinking the pint and telling you what I think of it as a, as something to enjoy at the end of the day and how I enjoy it. So obviously your taste might be quite different to mine and if you disagree with me then that's cool, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Um, yeah, so uh, 
that's about it. So um, without further ado, I'm going to sign off now, and uh, hopefully you'll go and watch the uh, first review.